Welcome to Pulverostmannen and this requested video about the basics in MS-DOS. So if you are running Windows 98 as in this computer you may access it from the, the shutdown menu and you can choose to restart the computer in MS-DOS mode and uh, there is also another way which we are going to do here and uh, we just reboot the computer and hit OK. And while the computer boots, we're gonna hit F8 repeatedly to access the menu. And uh, getting the menu can be a bit tricky sometimes, so if you don't get it by pressing F8 at the host, just uh, reboot the computer and try again. And we are going to take the option 5, only MS-DOS prompt, and hit enter. And uh, now we are in DOS mode. And uh, how we can navigate through this is only by commands on your keyboard. So you need to use commands to get anywhere. So uh, to check a content in a selected folder, as in this case, C colon backslash, that is our primary hard drive, we can type in the command dir dir and hit enter. And we will uh, get a tree of everything inside this folder so if there are a lot of files as in this case we may want to sort them out using the command dir slash w slash e and hit enter and we are sorting out the files as in this case and uh, there should be an option as well to make a slash and question mark and uh, you can list all the available attributes you can make after the command so if you're unsure what you can do you can just hit slash and question mark after the command so we are going to enter the windows folder for example we, because we know it's here we can type in the command cd and a space and windows and hit enter now we are in the windows folder and we can do the div command again and uh, there's still a lot in here so we can make a div slash w slash p to make it a list and uh, check the content and hit enter to scroll down on all the files available so we're gonna enter the system folder and hit enter and again we can dir and check the content if you like and uh, we want to back up folder again to reach the windows part of the folder again we can type in cd dot dot and hit enter and we are reverting one level to the windows folder again so if we enter this folder one more time and uh, we want to revert all the way back to this to the root we can make the command cd backslash and hit enter and we will revert all the way back so we want to change the drive letter here and uh, we know the next one is d colon we just type in the command d colon and hit enter and now we have changed the drive letter to the d and we can check the content and uh, we have this uh, folder in here that is uh, called example test Two dot bat and uh, we are going to open this uh, bat file which is an executable file we type in the command edit test two dot bat and uh, we now get the available data inside of it it can, can be text or and it can be commands for example so uh, we hit the ALT key to reach this tree of different menus. We can choose to save it or simply quit. So let's say we like to make a copy of this file because it's so cool. We type in the command copy and the name test2.bat and we need to specify where it should be and we want it in the same folder as here d colon backslash 
and now we need a name for it and uh, as it's uh, in the same folder we may want to use another name which is fully okay test dot bat for example hit enter the file has now been copied and if we dir we can see that the test file has come here and it uses the same content as we made a copy of it so so we can see the same thing is inside so uh, we could change the content in here as well and uh, we can run a command we want to clear the screen and we type in the command cls to clear the screen we want to change the dry letter to c colon backslash and we hit enter again next command line would be cd windows and uh, cd system and using this command we are clearing the screen changing the dry letter to c colon changing and entering the folder windows and then entering the folder system so we can save this command and we can exit test.bat so if we run this command we just type in test as all the commands in exes or bat files and stuff are command run executable files we don't need to use the dot exe or dot bat or something so we just hit test and enter and uh, now we see when uh, the windows it's been clearing the screen it goes into this windows folder and uh, goes into the system folder and uh, here we are so we can go back to this uh, d colon backslash dir and uh, we want to delete this test dot but you just hit the name del as in delete test dot but hit enter and the file will be gone so we got this test2.bat and we want to change the name of this file for example. So we type in the command rename a space test2.bat and a new space and the new name test.bat. Hit enter. And the file has been renamed to test.bat. And the, this command works for all types of files in your MS-DOS. So uh, if you want to rename, you just need to type in the correct name as the other files has. And uh, one thing you may see when navigating in here is that you may have a special character followed by a number. And uh, this is because the file name is too big for MS-DOS to display. So it renames the file without renaming it so it just shows up in another way but to enter this file you need to use this special and uh, use the name exactly the way it is displayed so if you need to enter it you type the command cd and uh, for example wc3 pat and you in uh, the nordic you need to get this special character by holding down alt gr and uh, hitting the special key and the number and you get it and uh, you can enter the file folder and uh, depending on what keyboard layout you have you may need to find this key and how you can get it uh, in your different location so it's not sure to be the same as here can, can be good to know and uh, let's say we want to open a game for example I know my folder name is uh, Doom2119 and uh, we can check the content and we want to run the setup file we hit the command setup and enter and we get the setup menu for the game we can set the uh, setting uh, the settings the way we want and we can choose to run the game after we save the settings and it will start up the game so let's say uh, this computer is too new to have the valid drivers for uh, this old type of DOS so uh, no sound will be available here but you can still play the game 
So depending on your computer model and stuff, you need to have separate drivers to make your uh, sound card and everything work in MS-DOS. So it's not sure to be just plug and play and run a game. So, but it will still run the, pro the program. And uh, we want to clear the screen, CLS, and we want to back out here. If we want to check the drives available disk space and uh, a little bit stuff like that, we can type in the command chkdsk and hit enter. This command is in check disk. And uh, you can uh, list up the available space and everything around in your hard drive but uh, it can be displayed in various ways depending on how large the drive is. So if you want to make a check of your hard drive more carefully for errors and stuff, you can run the command scan disk, which uh, runs a better test and uh, stuff on your drive. So you just run the command scan disk and you get this uh, tree and it checks the file structure, file system and everything in here and uh, it can take a longer time to make it so you can even do a surface scan of the drive so you can check every sector on your drive for bad sectors or stuff like that so it can even repair some sectors sometimes can be good to know but uh, we are not going to run this command uh, fully out so we're gonna uh, abort this one and uh, go to the next step we can go into the C colon cd backslash to go back to the uh, beginning and we like to make a partition or check the partition of our drives we can run the command f disk hit enter we may want to activate large drive support if we have it and we can check the information by using the number keys to select the different choices and uh, choose yes or no to go further in the menus so we see we got a 57 gigabyte partition on this max to drive d colon backslash we can use escape to back and we can uh, delete a partition or create a partition or anything we want inside here and uh, most of the commands you just follow the options here and uh, you may read some guides to use fdisk if you're not available or uh, getting to know what you need to do to make it correct so just uh, search how to use S fdisk and there should be guides showing up so after you have created your drives partitions you may want to format the drive and this naturally destroys all the data on the drive you select the drive you want to delete as in the colon you type in the command format the colon for example and when you press enter you will get a warning that uh, says you're going to delete all data on your drive and you hit G as in yes or uh, you may use Y if you are using a, another language and you're here I need to press the G button because I have a Nordic and Swedish layout of this so it could be different but yes should be the trick for you and hit enter and uh, after it has formatted the drive you will be ready to use it so you want to restart your computer or shut it down in MS-DOS and uh, for the difference here between Windows and DOS is that you don't need to run a command to restart the computer or shut it down you simply press Control alt delete to reboot the computer or press or and hold down the power button or computer if you have a newer one and uh, or just switch it off on an old computer and uh, nothing will be lost so you want to restart the computer we hit Control alt delete and you will get back to the post of the computer again so we are going to press F8 again to enter the DOS mode again only MS-DOS and we are back in business again so we like to boot Windows for example 
and uh, you can do it from here without pressing Ctrl Alt Delete. You can just press the command Win and press Enter, and the computer will boot Windows from here. So I hope this guide uh, made any progress with your learnings and everything and you liked my stuff so if it was helpful hit the like button and uh, share with your friends if you want and uh, have a very good time until next time we meet goodbye <laughs>